Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and since the dawn of time, mankind has been wondering, are we alone in the universe? What is the meaning of life? Why do cats still hang around if they apparently hate us so much? And how many scoot swarms does it take to crash MTG Arena? Now we've done uh, videos like this before on my channel. Me and my friends, we got together and just did a rigged, you know, person on person game, but it turns out uh, a random person on person friendly match has different rules and, and different policies and that kind of stuff. Uh, for one, they got rid of the timeout timer. I mean, that's pretty significant, but also uh, when I got that big white warning on the screen saying, hey, take a different action or we're going to kick you out of the game by declaring it a draw. I'm like, what the hell? I've never seen this before. And people said, oh, that's been in the game since it started or at least, you know, months. Uh, I thought it was part of the last patch because I've never seen it. And I thought it would have come up when we did those rigged games because I brought out over a thousand tokens, you know, in one trigger with Krenko. And so it turns out it doesn't pop up that safety warning against uh, friends in friendly matches. Uh, because they don't really consider them like real matches. A whole bunch of stuff is turned off just because they're like, oh, you'll police yourself or whatever. Now, we did find out in those earlier videos, and you should watch them. They're hilarious. I, a lot of them have over 100,000 views. Like the one where we flipped it over 4 billion life, and we like ran over the memory location with too high of a value, and it flipped negative but didn't end the game, and just everything went to crap. It was hilarious. I think it was like me and Cinder that did that one. But I, I've done a couple experiment videos that got mad views because we just epically screwed with Arena. And we did get it to kick us out of the game a couple times it said like unknown game and error 43 or whatever it was hilarious i hate to kind of ruin the ending but um that's just all establishment for what we're going to do today so how do i get a real game going and test how many scoot swarms it takes to basically crash the game crash the server disconnect out i don't know what happens but something bad and the answer is Sparky. <laughs> so we're going to play against Sparky, and I did a test. They do consider it a real game, except for the purposes of achievements, I think. So let's jump in and absolutely obliterate Sparky. Now, this is going to probably take a couple tries, um, because I have to get Scoot Swarm in basically my opening hand. So uh, I'll probably edit around it and pretend it happened the first time. Yeah, two Ugans ain't going to do it. <laughs> I'm limiting myself to like two mulligans because I still have to like win the game. Oh, hey, there it is. Look at that. First shot. No joke. First shot. No editing. I don't need him. That's a game winner. I'm not trying to win the game. I'm trying to break the game. All right. So uh, insert clever editing here. All right. We're getting there, but boy, it just had to be flyers, didn't it? It had to, Sparky. You dick. Anyway, I can heal by two every turn, so hopefully I can stall long enough. This shouldn't take too, too long. All right, that's a lot of scooty boys. We're getting up there. You see, it numbered the triggers, ran through really quick. Okay. I very much learned my lesson last time about uh, mixing triggers by having two different uh, permanents in play. Uh, it took over an hour to resolve, and then the game, I don't know, crashed or something. I just came back and something, I don't remember, it was like 5 a.m. Something happened. The whole recording was ruined. Um, so that was fun. All right, I need to force him to block with one of the gulls. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm not going to kill him. What? what? Woo yourself, you dumbass. My gosh, was that stupid. Okay, second instance of life gain. I uh, guess I could play this. It's just one more trigger at this point. I have 59 of them in play. Oh, we get to double drop these because of Dryad. This might do it right here. This is going to get up into the 400 range, I think. No, higher. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at them go. Okay, that's fast. That's really fast. And we end it with those. I'm glad it's doing them in that order. Okay, here we go. So, ooh, 123. There's the warning. I've heard it's being shown in error. Okay. Now, see, this is what it did last time, and I thought it was because I was alternating between two different triggers because I had the uh, Felidar Retreat in play. Or, no, something. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Uh, oh, one was a morphed Scoot mob, and, or not morphed, uh, mutated, and one wasn't. That's what the problem was, and it kept flipping them. But you know how fast it went through them before? Why can't it do it now? I don't... Uh, I guess I do have response. I could, like, crack this in response. I don't know, will that even help? Probably not. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I mean, if we're going to stack up triggers, let's stack up triggers. But uh, this is the problem I had before. And it seems like the more triggers that go on the stack, the worse it gets. Because I guess the server is calculating what to do. Like, what would be the natural thing the AI should do. But it, it considers every st trigger on the stack. And so once you get up into the hundreds, it slows it down by about one second per 150. So I, when I got up into the 600s, it was like four seconds per tick with 600 triggers. Now you multiply that out. I think that's like an hour and a half. And I think these... Wait. Oh, no! Omnath, you asshole! You ruined it! No! I have to set it back up. And you guys don't have to watch it because of the miracle of editing snap. Oh, that'll help. That'll do it. I'm finished now. Okay, here we go. Gonna get up to 14, then 28, I believe. So let's say... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I really should start dumping counters on him, but I don't care. I mean, the, the less overhead, the better. I want to see truly and sincerely how much it takes to just crash just this. Like, nothing else in play, no other options. Oh, Lotus Cobra. That'd be nice. But uh, we're gonna drop in uh, Ugin and start cleaning up here. So I don't have to block and lose any of them. Oh. We're way past aw, bro. We're way past that. Oh, that might kill him. Whoops. <laughs> well, 17, though. Cultivate! All right. All right, we getting up into big boys now. Whoops. Probably should have fetched the second one. <laughs> the hell was I thinking? Okay, so that's, that's going quick. All right, it's about to start going not quick, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> All right, there we go. Get a little doubler there. Blow away this guy. I'm surprised he's not just spitting out profanity at this point. All right, here we go. So that's where it starts going slow. Somewhere between like 40 and like 70-ish. And that's pretty quick. I mean, that's like, that's like three cards a second. But like I said earlier, it got up into the like, you know, two and a half, three, four second per cycle range because I think the computer was like looking at every trigger and seeing if it has a response. I feel like it wouldn't do this if he didn't have an instant in hand, but I don't know how their AI works. And I don't know what this is about. The whole like put it in play and then switch piles and like now there's five and then like now there's a separate pile. Why is there a separate pile? This is supposed to be the pile of ones that, that have haste. They don't. This is the ones that have summoning sickness. You can tell by the waves. I just, I, oh, now, wait, now they're going to both piles. Oh, I guess that's to tell the source, or, well, technically all of these, now it's lowering this one. I don't know what the hell is going on. They're all the source. I have no idea what's going on. And the fact that they're all, every trigger is coming from a different source, I think might be why this is going so slow. Whereas when I swung with Krenko, it was like, process, 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 whoosh, here's your 600 goblins in like 10 seconds. Here we go. I'll piss off. All right, so this speed I could deal with. I think it'll finish this in about a minute. Okay, so it, it seems to speed up and slow down. I don't know if it's like, I mean, I'm on 100 meg internet with like an 18 millisecond ping, so I don't know. It's just inconsistent. The funny thing I noticed in the dry run yesterday where I screwed it up and it took too long was uh, the sheer amount of memory the client was taking. Uh, yesterday, or last night, it got up to 7.5 gigs. Right now, it's at 2.6 gigs. And it was starting to do weird, weird stuff. But, um, you can see it was passing priority between oh. us. Oh, sorry. Oh, shut up. I I saw something. But I didn't have any instant speed actions, but he might have. And even then, I think it has to wait for him to say no response. I don't know. I have no idea about how, if it's like the decisions are local or their server, or I have no idea. Let's send one and see if he has some kind of instant. Nah, okay. Well, whatever. All right. Well, it's going to be about 600 total in play with Temple Plenty, which I know the game can handle, but my God, if they're going out that slow, I'm going to have to go cut the lawn or something. I don't know. Last night's recording was actually really funny. I wish it would have, like, finished or been intact or whatever, but uh, I literally just got in the shower. <laughs> so, all right. Here we go. Oh, God. Here, here it is. Okay. 
<laughs> any day now. I'll piss off. He's going to start saying stuff like, your move. I'm like, no, it's the server's move. This was my move. Whoa. Oh, oh for God's sake. I thought I saw something. Sparky's such a cringe-a-thon. There it is. All right, so they go on the stack just fine, but the, the priority passing response thing is not fun. Oh, that's, uh, that's flying. Do, well, no, I don't, I know I don't have less decisions to make. Does he have less? I mean, he, that doesn't have flash and that's the only card he lost. Maybe it was like they check card by card what's in his hand and then he had to say, no, neither of them are instant speed and that slowed it down enough that now that he has one card in hand, it's going faster. But this is flying and that's more triggers. So that's unusual. Oh, the sound's really screwed up. I have a turn way down, but uh, it's just doing nothing now. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I don't have less permanents in play. Sure. <laughs> let's let's go get one of those. We're going to find out this turn if we can crash the server or whatever. That, I'm sure I'm not literally crashing the server or I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, there we go. I mean, if my i7 can do this and I'm using like 10% of my CPU, I'm pretty sure like a Xeon could do it. You know, just saying. All right, let's go. <laughs> so usually in past testing, and remember this is on the 32-bit client, we're on 64 now, which is how it could even use seven and a half gigs of, of RAM uh, in the previous test. Oh, we're up to five gigs of RAM right now. Damn, that like doubled it right there. Wow, how is any of this on my side? I mean, I, it's is it the graphics layers? I mean, it's my GPU usage is nothing and my active memory usage on the GPU is like nothing, so... All right, resolve all. 640. Oh, no. Okay, we're at about two per second. So that's going to be... That's going to be a good five minutes. <laughs> oh, God. The game's starting to lag. The frame rates are starting to screw up. But it's not my GPU. I mean, I got a 1080 Ti. It's got 11 gigs of VRAM. I mean, come on. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys are lucky I can edit this faster for you. All right, they are finally done. I kind of missed the ending there, but, uh, well, the game's running unstable as hell and it's using 7.6 gigs of RAM. The good news is I've got about another 20-some gigs of RAM, so <laughs> let's drop in another island. What do you say? Well, I can, I can barely... No, wait, am I not... Is that not playable? Am I not allowed to do that? Wait, no. No, there it is. Okay. Things are running great. 11% CPU usage. I don't know why it's tripping. Oh, man. Hey, I can see your hand. Wait, what? I doubt it. All right, so we're waiting for these to come up on the screen here. Might take a little bit. Oh, it's going to be 1,200. That's um around the limit from what I know, but this is a new version of the game. Oh, the whole game just froze now. I'm getting the, the weight cursor. That's always good. There it is. <laughs> All right. They go on the stack on that speed. They don't tend to come back off the stack at that speed. And unfortunately, I have an instant speed option that I think it's going to I I consider. But I hope you win too. Oh, that's very kind of you, Sparky. All right, we're getting there. We're approaching what it should be. I'm very worried about the resolution speed. I'm also very worried about the eight gigs of RAM. I actually have a lot running. I only have 15 gigs of RAM open right now, so. Oh, should I stack up even more? Yeah, what the hell? I know 12 isn't usually a problem, 1200. Oh, look at this. Look at this frame rate. It's chugging. We've hit maximum chug. <laughs> oh no. It's hovering over things I'm not even hovering over. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. I should close some things. <laughs> I might actually need this RAM. <laughs> Hooray for the 64-bit client. Oh, God. What can I close? Uh, browser windows? Let's close that. 
Okay, so it's going to try to throw a lot of uh, triggers on the stack here and then resolve them all in a row. But the fact that I did it modularly means that it probably actually will resolve it, so I probably shouldn't have done that. But if it takes about uh, one to two seconds per resolution and this hits, what, 2,600? I mean, that's, what is that, a couple hours, I think? Isn't there 3,600 seconds in an hour? So, yeah, that's um, that's going to be something. But... Unless my system literally crashes, I should be able to do it. I'll run it, I'll record it, and then run it at 10,000x or whatever in my editing software. So I'll see you guys when it gets stopped uh, adding here. Okay, we're getting, I think, around the number. Uh, it's really adding these to the stack slowly, which means it's going to resolve them even slower. And Sparky constantly talking shit is getting on my last nerve. But uh, let's see. what well, It would be what, 1,200, two stacks. It should have stopped already, I think. Oh, yeah. I stacked them up so the other ones haven't come in yet. So how is it above this number? That doesn't make any sense. All right. 2,562. Take your word for it. I'm not going to add it manually. All right. Resolve all. Oh, here we go. <laughs> let's see. We are at... 8.2 gigs of memory. Oh, I fear they might be right for this one. Let's see. I hope that there's no time limit, but there's only known time limit in a friendly match, and they don't seem to consider this a friendly match. Okay. 2559, 25. Okay, let me get out a let me get out a clock. Oh, this is this can't be good. Okay. Oh no, it's five and a half seconds between these. Oh my God. Okay, let's get out the calculator. 3.9 hours. I got the memory and hard drive space for it. Let's go. Okay, I think we're gonna have a problem here because we're still at 1,000, basically 700 after rounding and the client is up to 19 and a quarter gigs of RAM which means that 80% of my system memory is currently being allocated almost entirely by the recording software at this point and the game. So I think I'm going to run out of RAM and it's going to start paging, which, okay, I've got a three and a half gig per second SSD, but I think my page file will get loaded by then too. So we might not see an end to this, but I'm willing to run it out and find out, but I got to keep checking on this. So it should be very interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not looking great. I came back and it was froze, but now that I clicked on it, it's not. I don't know. I thought I left focus on the window, but I don't think this is going to make it because I'm at 98% system memory allocation with the client itself taking 28.9 gigs. So that's not good. I can't close or terminate any other background services, tasks, software, anything else. I closed Steam. I closed everything. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we've got a huge stack to go. So if it keeps uh, tossing the memory to the page file, that's fine. Um, it should be able to do that, um, but it's not looking good. So this will be interesting if it actually finishes. I know that if I try to play another land after this, it'll just that that'll be the end of it. But uh, hopefully, it'll like disconnect from the server first. Uh, but normally, you can't get this many tokens in play. But they recoded the whole thing when they changed it to 64 bits. So uh, should be interesting. All right, and I believe we have a little bit of an answer here. It says at, looks like it froze at 768, which I know that's a coincidence because that's like a divisible by eight. It's a number in eight bit, but whatever. But um, I believe I have hit the time limit because uh, my connection was never disrupted. I, I did a, a ping test to a test server, never got disrupted. So I think they have terminated the game after about three hours. Now I had heard that the limit was like, 45 minutes or something, but, uh, now we didn't cross over like four or five in the morning, my time, which is like their server reset time or whatever. So it's not like it disconnects everybody that I'm just saying, you know, it might clear a session that's too old at that point, but, uh, I hit reconnect and, oh wait, oh, it might be doing something this time. Wait a minute. Oh, wouldn't that be interesting if it actually resumes? Well, I gave it at least five minutes. We're getting a whole lot of nothing. So I'm going to crash the client and see if it can resume the game. Now, if there's no timeout, I should be back in. 
But if they terminated the game and then terminated my connection, I should be able, or I, I won't be able to get back in. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's terminate it. Oh, my system is having trouble reclaiming that RAM. Wow, there we go. Oh, look at it all dump. 29 gigs all back in my pocket. All right. <laughs> Theoretically, it shouldn't have to reload those actions. It'll just send me the state. So I actually probably midway through when it was getting close, should have real quick closed arena and then jumped back in. But, you know, that occurs to me now. Okay, yeah, it did not send me back to a game. It sent me to the homepage here. So uh, I think it terminated that game session for going on too long. I really do. I think that in a competitive play, they uh, put, oh, what was it, 45 minutes, hour and a half, whatever the limit was. It was somewhere in that neighborhood. But I went on for over three hours. I think in like a friendly match or a demo match or a who cares match you know, versus the AI, they probably cut it off at like three or four hours. I mean, that makes sense. Like, uh, you can't just leave sessions running like that, especially if the amount of RAM I was using locally had to be replicated on the server because they wanted to know what's going on with the board state, too. But I think it's more of a Unity problem. I think it's a bad programming problem where uh, normally you wouldn't stack up that many things, so they're just loading up the RAM with what's happening, and they didn't care because they didn't think anybody would ever do this. So I don't think 64 gigs would have helped. I, I think the game literally just kicked me out. So that was a time thing, not a token thing, though. So I think we need to continue researching this, unfortunately.